Hi everyone, this is Ben Crew from the Kenfeld Group. Uh, we wanted to make a quick video here to show you how to make a setup file and include the variety locator for harvest this year. The video that John Deere has uh, available on the website and on YouTube is a little bit outdated, uh, so we wanted to show you the new version. So if we go up to our tools, we're going to use the setup builder tool. Uh, we're going to pick our display type and create a file name, whatever kind of makes sense to you. And then we're going to hit start. Uh, first page here is land. Uh, so we're just going to select all of our fields. The variety locator has been moved up in this upper right hand corner. So we'll check that box and include variety locator. You'll see the crop selected there. Number three was planted to corn. So that tells me that it found the field that, and planting information that I needed. Uh, if we scroll down, if it says no data for the last 12 months, we do not have a, a, any layer there. So this is a demo account. There's not much there. I do want to show you this, though. Um, if you notice here, this says select crop. We can only make one variety locator file per field. So we'll just have to pick the correct crop there. Uh, it happens sometimes. Sometimes we do split that field or we switch crops or a little bit comes off from another application or for another planning, uh, you know, or it'll auto sort to the boundaries and be a little off. So let's make sure we pick the, the correct crop there and we can go up here to equipment. And we can either send, set up individual equipment or we can hit select all. And we want to make sure we have our implement selected. And pick our heads that we need, or again, we can just select all. Then we'll go over to products. If we just want to send the varieties, we can use the filter over here and do that and click the varieties that we want. Uh, word of note on when it comes to variety locator, if the varieties that we planted are not in here, variety locator will still uh, pull the variety name from the variety locator file. So if you're missing one in here, it's not that big a deal, but do make sure that you have at least one variety of each crop, because that's what'll add your crop, lip. that's what'll add the crop type uh, to your display. So on a 2630, if you're missing something, it won't let you add new things. Uh, same on the equipment side. Make sure you have at least one type of everything that you're going to need. You can add new models and names. Uh, you cannot add new equipment or implement types. So make sure your list here is complete. Uh, we'll go back and catch up our operators. And then we'll just go to our summary. And then down here at the bottom, we'll hit create file. So it'll tell us our file is being created. And it'll be available in Files Manager. So we can just click over here and go to Files Manager. And it'll open up our Files Manager tool. And this one is being created. This one I made earlier today, so we'll just go ahead and use it. So to get that onto our card, we're just going to put a check mark next to it, click on Download. The easier option for me, if we're working on a Windows computer, is use the John Deere Data Manager file. The reason we do that uh, if we use the desktop or device, it will give us a compressed folder, and then we'll have to remember to unzip it before we send it to the USB drive. Uh, using the data manager format, it'll just kind of do it on its own. So we're going to hit download. I'm using Google Chrome, uh, so my file will just show up down here. So all I have to do is click on that then. The John Deere data manager will open up. Uh, it's the same program we use to upload data. This is a little bit different version. I'm going to use my USB F. That's the USB drive that I want to use. And I just hit transfer. It looks like nothing's going to happen. Wait you know, five, 10 seconds here, and it'll say file transfer complete. Okay, so right there, we're good. So we can uh, finish up our. We can go ahead and pull the USB out and put it in the combine. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call on the call center or just call the lo your local location and we'll get you helped out. Thanks a lot.